and these look really really fancy but they are super inexpensive and most important super delicious the first thing to do is to make some ground beef here's my take on it i throw in one and a half pounds of ground beef into the pan then immediately throw in some onions mix everything well and start to cook them once fully cooked throw in salt freshly ground black pepper and garlic paste mix everything well and combine all of these ingredients together as now we're going to be adding flavor on top of flavor for the first one i threw in a good amount of tomato paste combine everything together and keep your heat high because one of the things that you're trying to do is to create a font on the bottom of the pan it is extremely important not to let that burn and to deglaze it i like to throw in some red wine Mix everything together until the pan is completely clean on the bottom. Then throw in some Worcestershire sauce and incorporate everything together. The only thing left to do is to throw in some parsley, mix it one more time, and your extremely flavorful ground beef is done. Now this is not only very cheap, but extremely delicious. Just eating this with some rice is incredible. Talking about that, that is exactly what we're gonna do. But we're gonna take the whole thing to an extreme level. After fully cooking your rice on your rice cooker, let them cool down a little. To make things easier for me, I'm using this mold right here but if you don't have one you can just mold it with your hands you want to pack the rice tightly together with the form because in the end you should be left with something like this now repeat the process until you have a bunch as now the next step is to go ahead and deep fry them in duck fat i'm going all out on this but if you don't have duck fat you can use any other type of oil you like you want to deep fry them until you get a lightly golden brown color as you can see once i was done this is what they look like a nice crispy crust but the middle is still nice and soft now the next thing to do is to assemble it just go nice and slow until you build a layer right on top as now we need to go ahead and make a sauce and for that it's super easy let me show you into a bowl i threw in a little bit of mayo followed by sriracha garlic paste and a little bit of parsley mix it well because the next step is to put it into a squeeze tube and the easiest way to do that is to use a plastic bag just throw everything on it cut out the tip and squeeze everything into the bottle in the end if you want a nice fancy presentation you should be left with something like this as you can see easily i allows you to make miniature dots. Now this thing looks really fancy. And I'll tell you one thing, it costs almost nothing. You can make a huge batch of this with only 10 bucks. And I think it's gonna be the perfect side dish to go along with our steaks. Uh, you wanna try this first? And yeah, uh, I wanna know your opinion, tell me how you like just it. Just grab it with the hand? Just grab it with your hand and then just bite on it and let me know. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> wow. So easy to make. Man. And so good. That's a whole mini meal on your hand. Exactly. <laughs> it's like a little hamburger or a meal, like you said. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is amazing. Mm. Mm. I can see this being served on like a fancy party for real. Yeah, no, for real. It's a hefty appetizer, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's gonna fill you up before you can tell. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as you saw it, super cheap to make. You don't have to use the duck fat if you don't want to. Use any other regular fat. Obviously, the duck fat is gonna give you something extra, but Highly recommend. 